Here's a little DC motor I designed. I'm, uh, I always feel like my students have a hard time understanding the commutator and uh, field magnets and armature, mag uh, armature fields and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to make them uh, build this uh, over like one evening, a uh, simple DC motor. And I wanted to make it really as cheaply as possible. So the frame is just made with uh, 2x4s. Um, I have, I don't know what, what is the inner diameter of this tubing here. I'm thinking it's about uh, three quarters. The outer inner diameter of this tubing is, which is the shaft, is a half an inch. Um, so I'm using uh, just two bear, just using the, the, the white tube as a bearing, real cheap bearing. Um, a couple of washers on either end. I'm using hot glue to glue it in so it's um, actually constrained. Uh, real, just a simple shaft. Um, within the blue tube, uh, I'm drilling a hole right through the, the center of it. And I put in, a, a th this is a, just using, I'm using threaded rod. Now, um, I bought all of this at Home Depot, uh, using just uh, bo uh, nuts to secure it. Um, so this, is, uh, this armature here is made out of threaded rod. Um, I'm using 26 gauge magnet wire. Um, don't even waste your time trying to make uh, wind a motor with anything else. 30 gauge would work. Here's another one. I got these from uh, MacMaster Car. Um, 30 to 28, 30, 28, 26 gauge AWG magnet wire will work. Um, everything is wound in the same direction. Um, so all the way down from the top down to the bottom, it's all wound in the same direction. Give yourself about I don't know, 12 inches of magnet wire here to, to make contact with your commutator. Um, I found these magnets, these uh, permanent magnets at Radio Shack. You can buy 10 of them for three, whoops, three dollars. Um, I think the easiest way to make a commutator is get, these are, these are little, um, uh, they hold pipe, three quarter inch pipe. Um, you know, that's for three quarters. Uh, tip, what you want to do is, is you, you don't want to make the commutator the same diameter as the shaft. You want to make the commutator a bigger diameter. The reason for that is it, um, it reduces the shorting between the brushes, if that makes any sense. Um, so instead of cutting up copper, you can just buy these simple things at a hardware store. Um, I got these from True Value, but they're, I feel like they're, they're copper plated. And then at Home Depot, you can actually buy them. Uh, these commutators, you can cut them really easy. All I'm using is, um, um, what the hell is this tool called? You know, it's used for breaking up, uh, not a channel locks. Um, I can't remember. Anyway, very, very useful for uh, cutting the copper. Um, and uh, you can just cut it, uh, score it, and then and then break it apart and you can be left with, you, you start with something like this, and then you're left with um, this. You're going to uh, solder it, uh, so you have your soldering iron, um, you know, so that it takes a couple of seconds to heat it up. You want it at the full blast, and then your, your uh, solder will spread, and then you're going to... Uh, what I typically use with this magnet wire is people will use sandpaper to... Um, they'll use sandpaper to, to, to take off the, the enamel coating on it, or the plastic coating. You know, I, like to, I use a, a, a lighter or um, matches, but... Um, I've been told that it produces a poisonous gas, so keep, you know, keep it away from you. Um, so there's the commutator. Um, there's just a pair of brushes. I'm using um, paper clips. The problem is, um, in a situation like that, the, the the brush might touch both sides of the commutator, and then you'll get a short. You can what you can do is using the pliers, you can slightly bend the edges of the commutator up on either side, and that will definitely reduce. The shorting. So let's run the thing. So you might have heard a couple of seconds. I'm just using a power supply there, uh, about five volts. At the start, it's, sh it's shorting a little bit, but that's it. Real a real simple motor. Costs about um, five dollars, maybe five dollars to make, and it really gives uh, students a good idea of actually how the commutator works and they can build it themselves. Thanks.